Hello, Psych2Goers. Welcome back. Do you find yourself stuck, tired, unmotivated, in need of reassurance? Well, we have an important message for you. We're here to tell you a few things you may just need to hear. Here are a few important messages for you. Number one, don't underestimate yourself. Have you been doubting yourself recently? Maybe you've been doubting your skills on a project or maybe you're having trouble in the social scene and are feeling a bit hesitant. <sighs> Let go of the doubt, release it. With your next breath, embrace who you are and all that you become. What can you do? What can you achieve, create? If you find yourself asking, am I smart enough? Am I worthy? Do I deserve this? Yeah, you do. And if you think not at first, keep trying, keep working, because you'll only grow and learn from these actions. Dig down deep inside you and find your voice, your passion, your goals. And don't you dare underestimate what you can achieve and who you can become. Number two, you don't need to feel completely happy or ready to get work done. It can be so difficult to start a project when you're not in the happiest of spirits or again with the doubting. Similar to underestimating yourself or just feeling a bit groggy or down in the motivation department, you just need to take action. You are in control and decide your own actions. So while you still may feel unmotivated or unhappy, believe you are in control and then take control of your next action. Your next decision is your own. You can start with simple actions and chores that feel very hard to do when you're not feeling your best push through that study session. Challenge yourself to one page of that book, then two, then three, then the chapter. Once you finish each page, you may just feel a bit more motivated and pleased with the decision you made. Just baby steps, people. Number three, keep pursuing your dreams and goals. Do you have a passion, a dream, a goal that you keep putting behind you? Does it enter your thoughts? and stay there more than a while? If there's something inspiring you, pursue it. You could work on your dreams on the side until they really take off, but don't ever give up on a passion you love or a goal you know you can reach. If you have enough time, schedule at least an hour or two to delve into your passions, hobbies, or work on your short or long-term goals. Number four, practice forgiveness. One thing you can practice to feel better and move forward stronger than ever, forgiveness. Have you tried to let go of any hate or anger you may be feeling? Let's come to peace with knowing that we can't control everything and everyone, but we can control what we do. So take a deep breath and let go of that anger inside you, that hate. It's toxic and it's not serving you. Redirect the focus on you than the ones you love and free yourself by practicing forgiveness. Five, get out of your comfort zone. Do you only stay in your comfort zone? It may seem easy to sit back and fall into the same routine, same choices, same hobbies, but trying something new and different can really be a great challenge for you. Not only will it stimulate your mind with new ideas, theories, and challenges, but you'll likely learn a thing or two and you'll grow through experiencing more of the great things that the world has to offer. Try reading a different genre of book, learning a new skill, traveling somewhere you've never been, going to an event that you're not familiar with. As comfortable as your comfort zone may feel, you may just feel exhilarated to try something new. And number six, decide what you want your life to look like and who you want to become. Who do you want to be now? tomorrow, a year from now? What direction will you take your life? Which paths will you follow? You get to decide. There may be a setup plan that you no longer connect with. Maybe it isn't you anymore. So ask yourself, what do I want? What do I need? And start creating some goals to fit your future narrative. Not everything will go exactly as you planned, but you are steering your life in a direction where you feel happy and true to yourself. Yes, you can discuss these decisions with others, express how you feel, but ultimately, the decision is up to you. 
You're in charge of your own destiny. You're in control, remember? So which messages did you need to hear most? What do you do next? Write it down and hold on to any of these desires or passions you have and pursue them. And don't underestimate yourself. You got this, seriously. We hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, don't forget to click the like button and share it with a friend or someone who could use it. Subscribe to Psych2Go and hit the notification bell icon for more content like this. And as always, thanks for watching.